I was with a friend who went to the hospital one day. His grandmother was dying. He kept calling, my dear, my dear, I love you. And she said, I'm not going to make it. But I called you down here because I want to ask you something. Do you know your great-grandfather's name? He said, no, my dear, I don't. She said, you know why? She said, because he didn't leave you nothing. She said, I want you to go away from here. And I want you to live your life so that your children's grandchildren will know your name. When I heard that, it changed me. I said, wow, I'm going to start living my life so that my grandkids' kids know my name Then I've accomplished the deal. You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you procrastinating? Are you invading your own greatness? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? See, a lot of people go to work every day miserable and all they do is just talk about how miserable they are. You've got to find ways to increase your sense of self-appreciation because if you don't, you will find yourself unconsciously engaged in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. You gotta run. You gotta run. You can't just wake up in the morning and let me see what's gonna happen today. Ah, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I just woke up. Oh, you should stay in the bed. Give the day to somebody who has a plan because success is never an accident. And if you don't want it, get out of my way. Because there are some people who want to do something with their life who will run. God has put gifts and talents in you. You have something to offer that nobody else has. But it's easy to let fear hold us back. What if I try and it doesn't happen? What if people don't accept me? Too often, we're letting the what ifs talk us out of it. My message today is very simple. Quit hiding what God has given you. When God breathed his life into you, he lit your candle. He created you to shine, to make a difference, to leave your mark. We need your talent. We need your creativity. We need your smile. You can't play it safe your whole life and become who you were created to be. You can't wait till the fear goes away and then you'll do it. When I get my courage up, then I'll teach that class. Then I'll start my business. Then I'll go out on that date. You're going to have to do it in spite of the fear. I feel afraid, but fear is not going to control my life. I'm going to take a step of faith. No one that's ever done anything great in life has done it without fear. They felt the fear, but they did it afraid. It's now or never. You either take that step of faith or that moment will not pass by again. When you're close to releasing your gift, you will feel fear more than ever. That's the enemy trying to deceive you into keeping your gift hidden. He doesn't want you to go where no one in your family has gone. He'll work overtime to try to convince you to shrink back, play it safe. Well, what if I fail? You get up and try again. Every failure is preparing you. You will learn more through failure than you will through success. You can't be so afraid of failure that you won't get out of your comfort zone. Even if it doesn't work out, you're learning. You're one step closer to seeing it happen. When we come to the end of life, nothing will be more disappointing than to think what would have happened if I would have taken that step of faith. Where would I be if I wouldn't have hid my gifts, hid my talents, hid my creativity? Friends, life is short. Don't let the fear of people, the fear of failure, the fear of being criticized hold you back. I don't want people talking badly about me. Can I tell you, respectfully, somebody's talking about you right now. Somebody is jealous of your success. People are going to talk whether you settle or whether you stretch. You might as well stretch and pursue what God put in your heart.
What they say doesn't determine who you are. Every person has negative chatter. Tune it out. Quit letting it upset you. God hears what they're saying. He'll fight your battles. He'll be your vindicator. Everyone is not supposed to be for you. You can't reach your destiny without opposition. Joseph would have never taken the throne without his brothers throwing him into a pit. David would have never become king without Goliath. Some enemies are designed as a part of your destiny. They're not going to stop you. They're going to promote you. Keep running your race, not looking to the left nor to the right. Other people may not be able to see your gifts. They don't know what God's put in you. Don't let the fear of what they think hold you back. You're not going to give an account to people of what you did with your life. We're going to give an account to God. You can talk yourself into your dreams or you can talk yourself out of your dreams. Quit telling yourself that you can't do it. You don't have the training. Get rid of those excuses and start telling yourself what God says about you. You are strong. You are blessed. You are favored. You have been fearfully and wonderfully made. I wouldn't be standing here if I had not learned to step out even though I felt afraid. What are you hiding? Your gifts? Your personality? It's time to let your light shine. Quit hiding your smile. Brighten our day. Quit hiding your encouragement. Lift somebody up. If you can write, start writing. If you can build, start building. That gift was not meant to stay hidden. It's not doing you any good, nor is it doing us any good, as long as you keep it to yourself. The wealthiest place on earth is in the graveyards. Buried in those graves are hidden dreams, books that were never written, businesses never started, inventions never invented. I'm asking you to release what you have. God didn't give you that dream so that it could stay buried. We have a responsibility. God has entrusted us with gifts and talents. Don't live passively, just taking whatever life brings you away. Shake off the complacency and get focused. Where could you be at this time next year if you got rid of the distractions and you put all your effort into the main thing God put in your heart? You can do many things good, but you can't do many things great. Find that one thing and excel at it. Focus on your one thing and do it to the best of your ability. Jesus told a parable about a businessman that was going on a trip. He called three employees over. He gave one five talents, another two talents, and the third one talent. The man with five talents went out and invested his and gained five more. The man with two gained two more. But the man with one talent was afraid. What if the economy goes down? What if somebody steals it from me? So he went and buried his talent in the ground. You'll never increase as long as you're living fear-based. Fear of people, fear of what could happen. All three men had the same opportunity. Two did something with their gifts. The third, he played it safe and buried it. The owner came back. The men with the five talents said, here are the five you gave me, plus five more I gained. The man with the two, here are the original two, plus two more. Again, well done. The third man came up and said, sir, I didn't want to lose what you gave me, so I hid my talent. Here's the one back that you gave me. The owner was expecting a profit. It wasn't acceptable to just give back what was given. He was expecting increase. He was angry. He took that talent and gave it to the man that had five. It's interesting, the man didn't lie, he didn't cheat, he didn't kill somebody, he didn't have an affair. What, what did he do? He hid what God gave him. You and I have been given gifts. God has entrusted us with them. Like that owner, we're going to see him. He's going to ask, what did you do with the talents I gave you? 
God has given us all different abilities. We're not competing with each other. You don't have to keep up with your neighbor. What matters is, what are you doing with what you have? Have you buried it? Or are you living faith-based, growing, stretching, increasing, looking for opportunities, believing you have seeds of greatness? Are you burying what you should be showing and showing what you should be burying? Why don't you start burying the insecurity, burying the doubt, burying what the critics have said and start showing your talent? If you will bury the fear and show your faith, you'll see increase. You'll see new levels. So here's one of the key expressions of the evening. Take a new inventory of yourself and make sure that all of your talent and ability and mentality and ingenuity and vitality and strong feelings Courage, make sure that all you've got's being used. Otherwise, you lose. When I heard it change me. I said, oh, I am going to start living my life so that my guard kid, kid, know my name. Then I have accomplished the deal. You look at you, you look at your products. Is living why you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living on your dream? Are you an idea? Are you progressing? Are you evading own greatness? Is your life an adventure or bonding? See lot of people go to work every day. Miserable all they do just talk about how miserable they are. You are got to find way to increase you. Since your self application because you don't. You will find yourself unconsciously anger self distorting behavior. If you program yourself, life will program you. You go to run. You cannot just wake up in the morning. Let's see what's going to happen today. I can know what I'm going to do. I just wake up. Oh, shouldn't stay in the bed. Give a day somebody who has a plan because success is never accident. And if you are don't want to get out my way because they are some people who want to do something with their life will run. People who want to something with their life will be run. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe.